charming and cozy puzzle game called Lego Builder's Journey. This is one of the most chill and just pleasant puzzle games that I think I've ever encountered, and it's got all kinds of relaxing music and tingly, tingly sound effects, so I think you're really going to enjoy it. It is a very satisfying and relaxing game to play and to watch people play as well. Uh, so this game actually came out uh, a couple of years ago on Apple platforms like on iOS and Mac OS, uh, but it was only just now, a couple of days ago, released uh, for Windows on Steam and uh, on consoles as well. So uh, it's been enhanced with um, a variety of new puzzles and things like that, as well as some very fancy graphics. Here, take a look. This is a very simple a Lego scene, isn't it? But look at all the detail packed into these Lego bricks. <laughs> Got little scratches and scuffs and fingerprints and all kinds of stuff that makes this feel like it's this Lego's been used. This is real Lego just yanked out of the the big bin of Legos that uh, you might have had as a kid. Or maybe your own kids have, who knows. Um, and uh, this is all achieved with some pretty fancy graphics, actually. This game now supports uh, ray tracing in many forms. Ray traced shadows, reflections, global illumination, and ambient occlusion. So this game is actually pushing my GPU, my RTX 3080, pretty much to its limits. Um, and uh, it looks gorgeous. It just looks so, so good. So, um, if you are one of our awesome Twitch stream crew, <laughs> shout out to our, our Twitch crew, um, you might have seen me play this already. I played it on last Thursday's stream. Uh, if you are not part of our Twitch crew, you should come join us. Lots of super, super friendly people there. I stream at twitch.tv slash the ASMR nerd on Thursdays and Sunday evenings uh, Pacific time. Uh, and we'd love to see you there. But uh, really the point is that if, if you came to the stream, you've seen me play through a variety of these early levels of the game. So I have played um, quite a few of these levels already. I'm not sure if we're going to get past where I played in the, the stream, but it doesn't really matter. Um, there's multiple ways to solve most levels, and the joy is just the tactility of interacting with these Lego bricks in this game. So, like this, we have our little single block right here, and we're just going to place it down right here. Click and hold. Uh -huh. Now we've got a little three block here, a little corner piece. You can click to rotate. And then press and hold. There you go, to place it. And another one right here. And these little arch pieces. There. And there. And another single block. We could put it up here. Wanted, but I, I really think it wants to go right here. Let's place it right there. <laughs> and there it goes. We're on the seashore, which is really appropriate because I was on the seashore today, actually. Uh, it was a beautiful sunny day here. Maybe a little too hot, actually. But uh, we went to the beach and it was really nice. Uh, another block here, and they're gonna say, Here, do that. There. There it is. A single tall block. Right click and drag to look around. And what could that possibly mean? Oh, surprise! <laughs> they hid a little block behind. 
this block. So we'll rotate it and we'll place it right there. So these are our little characters who we'll get to know <laughs> over the course of this game. And uh, I should point out that I've, I've certainly not played through to the end of this game. I've played the first, I don't know, you know, a dozen or so puzzles or something. Maybe a few more than that, but there is a little story that's unveiled as you play, and it's quite charming. There's our, our parent figure who's helping us build this sand castle. This is our little our little character over here. I love the whimsical music, and I love the way they've animated the beach here. All these translucent blocks. Like little waves, just lapping at the shore. What a castle. Uh huh. You've been given some pieces to to do with as we please to decorate with. I think this is the same thing I did on the stream. Oops. And take that flag out of the surf there, and we'll attach it to our masterpiece here. Okay, so this is now where we start to see a bit more of the puzzle aspect of the game. Um, our parent is over here, our little character is here, and we've been given this little, uh, apparently this is called a jumper piece. I was informed of this uh, on my stream by a viewer, and uh, this is how we we move through these environments so we can pick these up and uh, place them to coax our little figure to jump. We're gonna snag this piece out of the little stream here and make ourselves a little bridge like this. Isn't it pretty? And the sort of like depth of feel gives this like almost tilt shifted feel. Really helps with the scale, you know, give you that sense of being Lego sized. There we go. Okay, so we've got um, a few pieces now to think about. So we're going to need one piece here, and one piece here, and if we snag this one that's floating past, one piece here, and one more right here. Let's place our jumper blocks. mentioning a few minutes ago that uh, it was a pretty hot day here and it's a pretty hot night here as well. I'm recording this at night time but it's still quite warm by my, you know, by our standards up here and uh, on the west coast of Canada. We're having a bit of a heat wave right now so um so I guess the, the length of this video is going to be limited by by uh, how long I can keep going before I start to melt here, because <laughs> my, as I mentioned, my RTX 3080 is cranking away there, dumping a lot of heat into the room. <laughs> I have the window wide open, but I didn't want a fan on, because I thought that would be too loud for, for you guys, so it's getting pretty toasty. So now we've got to see about climbing. Looks like we're gonna go on a hike. Our parental figure there has 
has a backpack on. So what can we do here? Oh, <laughs> if the piece drops. Well, in this case, it actually just stayed there, but sometimes it'll like fall into an abyss, but it'll just respawn. So there's really no pressure there. Let's do this. And this. And this. We've got bigger jumper blocks here. Oh, wait. What did I do? So, uh, you can't get up, um, Inclines that are like one and a half high. Um, like, uh, this, this is, let's put this over here. This is a half block, that's fine. Um, and uh, a full size works as well, so like from here to here. But uh, if we have one and a half, say put this on here, or a two size, that doesn't work. Um, but we should just be able to. Do this. Um, wait, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> this should not be this difficult. I figured this out once before and it was not this hard. I don't think we can make that jump. No, we can't. Okay, come on back. Uh, what did I do here last time? I don't think it was difficult. That doesn't work. These are one eye, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, gosh, I just sailed through this without even thinking about it last time. But we can't make that jump. I know that. No, he doesn't like that. Am I missing a piece around here somewhere? Oh, we've got that. Oh, I think that's what we have to do. I think I didn't realize we had another piece there. There. That was my mistake. Sometimes it is a little tricky to tell which pieces you can pick up and which you can't. Usually it's the loose ones that you can pick up. Oh, I didn't realize that happened. Watch, I click over here, and these all move. No, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, oops. There we go. Ah, now we've got a little backpack too, and a little hat. Isn't that cute? I 
love the atmospheric lighting in this game. The way the color's changing. Volumetric light. <laughs> A little bench for us. And we just gotta light the fire. Isn't that cozy?
actually to figure out what I needed to do here on stream. Um, but we've got this little trickle, just a teeny little drip drop, a little drip drop that's trickling down this slope here. Uh, but if we poke the dam, like so, it all comes pouring down. And now we've got the pieces we need to cross. So let's do that. And then let's do... Um, what do we got here? I'm not sure if this is gonna... Oh, we <laughs> can juggle the piece. I'm not sure if this is gonna get us there, but... I think... Yeah, that's too far. But if we do... Okay, let's try a different strategy. Let's see about putting this here. Let's see about putting this here. Oops. Oh gosh, okay. Actually, that... That should work, I think. Let's see. I'm actually not sure that we can make this jump. No, we can't. Darn. Darn. Um. What did I do last time? I honestly don't remember how that probably works, eh? That was entirely... Oh, no, wait, that's not... See ya. Okay, well, we can always, like, so you can use a piece like this. And, uh, as long as we can get up onto here, then we can just drop this over here. Drop this, and then we can just use this here. So you can reuse pieces as you go, right? Now there's probably a million other ways to do that, but that just happens to be the way <laughs> we threw it together here. Another one of those big, cool-looking trees. Now this one is going to be a bit tricky. This was maybe one of the harder ones that I encountered because we have to get across here and also up here. And, um... So this does have a, a time com sort of component where you have to motor through at a decent speed. Uh, now what did I do here? How did I do this? I'm not sure I remember, but again, it's okay. Just figure it out as we go. Uh, we should be able to make that jump, but this might have sunk too far by that time. We'll just have to see. So, um... Let's see... Oops, no, that's not gonna work at all. <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. I think what we had to do, actually, was we put... Uh, uh, this piece up here. And that gave us enough extra height there to do it. Even when it's fully sunk. So if we put that there. There we go. There. Oops. There we go. Oh, and there was another piece that I could have used. <laughs> I forgot that too, but we don't need it. Ta-da! Yeah, 
this, okay, this one was an interesting one, I think. Uh, we have to help get our, our parent up to here. Um, and that requires us to put a certain amount of weight on this pressure plate right here. So if we do that, it's not enough, but if we do that plus us, they can make it. And they kindly give us a bunch of additional pieces to get up there. So, um, gosh, how did we do this last time though? done this and then this oops and now I maybe could have taken this route I don't know but this no that doesn't work okay my mistake my mistake Child, who 
was very excited. And we're going to continue to build this castle with them. Oh, no. I gotta go back. There's barely any time here. <sighs> back to the grind. I know that feel. Not that I have kids, but... <laughs> back to the grind feel. Alright, it's time to play some more studs. Drop some more stars into garbage cans. When I was playing this on stream, I really wasn't sure like what we were doing here. And it just seemed to keep you know repeating several times and I was like, well maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I tried to like grab that star as it dropped. Couldn't do that. I tried filling this garbage can with with these studs. Uh, to try and like maybe block the star so it would bounce away or something. That didn't work. Just fell past them into the can, so. As far as I can tell, all you have to do is just repeat this uh, a few times. Once more. Oops. Just Kool-Aid man their way right through the wall. 
what did they spit out? A little skateboard. It's a little skateboard, guys. Let's go. Let's follow our new friend. So this is a whole new series of puzzles that uh, involve using the skateboard now. Oops, we have to make little ramps for our character to reach the goal, just like that. And uh, some of them are, are more challenging than others, but uh, our friend, robot friend, helps us out by giving us pieces sometimes. Like that, and then we got part way. <laughs> kind of broke everything, you know. Let's see what else it's got. Uh -huh. Big swoopy piece. Another big swoopy piece. And I think we can use the small swoopy piece to finish off here. Ta-da! Okay, now this one took me a little bit of time on the stream as well, from what I recall. Ah, because it's not immediately apparent how to do this. Um, I think we went this way. Let's see what he's got for us. Okay. So, that's obviously not gonna work now. Right, what I ended up doing was actually removing that small piece I started with and actually starting with the big piece, like this. And I found that was, I think, the best way to do it. Um... That there, we need another curvy piece, the short one here, like that. We can use this, do this. Oh, but it's got something for us. What does it have? Ah, the big long piece. Oh, I guess maybe I should have. No, this is not what I needed. <laughs> Let's try this. Also, not what I needed. Maybe we don't need the big long piece at all. Maybe that's why I got stuck last time. We can actually finish this with the pieces that are floating. That's all we need. There we go. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so I think this is actually where I got to on the stream. Yes, <laughs> the streams tend to be a lot of talking, not a lot of actual gaming. Kind of an hour of preamble, just chatting with everybody, and then I play a little bit here and there while we chat, so. But, uh, yeah, this was as far as we got, so let's see if we can at least do one more puzzle here. I am starting to melt. Oh my gosh, it's warm in here. But, um, <laughs> maybe we can at least do this. I see. Like this one will work. We need one more corner piece. There we go. That should work, right? And then we need some straight pieces, which, uh... Oh gosh. I keep forgetting that this guy gives us stuff. We don't actually need that. <laughs> we figured out our own way. Okay, well, I mean, we, we can place that, but we don't really need that. We just need more straight pieces. Sure, why not? Thanks for your help. Um, now we just need one more. Um, corner piece, like this. And we need a little single spot like that. Hey, there we go. <laughs> That's a little glitchy looking, but it worked. It worked. Okay, why do you say we do one more? These are really compelling. They're fun little puzzles. We need another one kind of like that. Oh, that's even better. I think. Oops, I'll come back. 
I can't replace that. What am I missing here? There. Um. Uh. What does he have for us? No. We need something that will get us.
Oh, when we destroy one, we get the pieces back. What? Okay. Clearly, I've, I'm gonna have to figure out what's actually happening here if we want to progress. I don't quite... Okay, so we've got a sequence of colors. We've got, like, yellowy-orange, pinky-purple, blue, green. But how does that correspond to what we need to do? Oh, maybe... Okay, so there's the blue. There's the pinky-purple. So what comes after that? Yellow. No, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> like it becomes that color when you place it. We've got a bunch of these yellow pieces now. that help us with? You guys have probably figured this out by now. But... So then that's gonna pop up over here and this thing's gonna... Like, I can't do this, I can't do that. <laughs> well, let's just try placing stuff on all of these and see what happens. Probably nothing. No, it doesn't even spit out more. Do we have to create... These thingies of of entirely singular colors somehow. Or is it something to do with this sequence like yellow? No. Alright, well, I think this is where we're gonna have to leave off with this video, as unsatisfying as that may be for you guys, because honestly, I am getting beyond, beyond. Uh, sweaty here. <laughs> this is getting really gross in here. So, uh, I'm sorry to end off a level without solving it, but I, I just can't focus on it, uh, at this point. But, um, I do hope that you enjoyed this, and feel free to, like, leave a solution down in the comments if you want to do that. I'll spend some time on this level, on my own time, obviously. Um, and I would love, 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 love to hear from you if you enjoyed this and if you would like to see more of it either here on youtube or over on twitch twitch.tv slash the asmr nerd um it's a great place to great place to hang out with awesome folks um really really friendly uh community that we have over there i know i sound like i'm tooting my own horn but i just i just talk at the camera play some games occasionally uh, but the generous folks over there are uh, are some of the nicest people uh, that you'll ever meet so anyway all right well thank you for watching my friends i do hope that you enjoyed this and i look very forward to having you back here next time farewell for now <laughs>